guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to fix your samsung galaxy j5 if it is bricked so this phone right here is completely not turning on as you can see if i try to turn it on it says this so i need to reinstall the whole firmware on this phone so let's do that and fix this mobile oh no here we go again roll the intro man the video first you need some things to do this first you will need a USB cable of course and after that you will need the original ROM zip file if it is not a zip it's fine but uh, the ROM should be original if you don't get the original ROM then your serial number or your IMEI number of the phone will be invalid so if your IMEI number is invalid, you cannot use your SIM card. The SIM card doesn't work. So you need to make sure that you download the correct firmware, the original firmware for your phone. Or else you will experience problems like the IMEI problem. So now let's head over to Google Chrome and I'm going to show you what you need to download. First, you need to download the original zip file, not in a zip file, if a, you know, a AP file so as you can see i have downloaded uh, mine i have downloaded mine it's already here and after you search your device and download the correct firmware you need to install samsung usb driver i'm going to install that and next you need to download odin not uh, the dad of thor it's just a flashing tool so let's download that So both the files are downloaded and I already downloaded the ROM, ROM file. Now first you need to make sure that you have installed the Samsung USB drivers. So let's do that. Click next, again next and then click install. Keep in mind this USB driver works for every Samsung phone so you don't need to download separate USB drivers if you have another Samsung phone or something. This will take some time and while it is installing let's extract the zip file so i'm going to extract the odin zip file and as you can see we oh, uh, and we have the odin here the flashing tool now we need to wait for the usb driver to finish installing and we can move on to the flashing process After the USB driver is installed, you can click finish. Now you need to open Odin. It's the blue color thingy right here. Just click OK. 
and now you want to select AP so after you select AP you need to browse the downloaded original stock ROM mine is on the desktop right over here so I'm going to choose that while that is loading you need to reboot the phone into the bootloader mode so let's do that on Samsung phones it is power button the volume down button and the home button you need to hold them all together so let's do that after this screen appears you need to press the volume up button to continue okay now the stock ROM is loaded on the Odin flashing software now you need to connect your USB cable to your phone now as soon as you connect the USB cable to your phone you should see a added like the another line will say that the device is added if you don't see this try reinstalling the USB driver again after everything is done you can go ahead and click start and it's going to flash the original stock ROM onto your phone so it's like you bought your phone from the store and you opened it for the first time now we need to just wait until the process is complete I'm going to fast forward all this now after everything is done the phone is going to reboot and don't disconnect the usb cable even though it says pass sign don't disconnect the cable just let the cable can be connected to the phone now you need to again wait for some time because it is going through some updating process and everything so you need to wait for that I'm sorry my phone can't focus correctly and the brightness is too high on the phone as you can see now the phone is booting it's showing the Samsung logo this will of course take a long time so be patient as you can see the phone is doing some setting up to install all the apps and everything so you need to again let it finish the process so don't touch the phone just leave it alone and please be patient
okay as you can see the phone has completed the boot and everything is working fine as you can see it has completely reinstalled the whole firmware on this phone so now you have everything working fine you can use the j5 again so yeah there you have it guys how to fix your mobile if your device gets bricked or something hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching please like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video